Fuck him. Yeah, we're gonna play. We're gonna play a drinker game. Every time I say bitch, ho, or uh, let me let me tell you something. That's a good thing I don't drink. Yeah, <laughs> let yeah. me tell you something. Or listen, <laughs> or listen. <laughs> yeah, <or> listen. <laughs> let me tell you something. Shot. <laughs> right. <laughs> There you go. You feel a bu- oh man, dude. I saw this man. First, I was like, okay, that's fucked up. Then I read the whole thing and was just like, his sister got him off. Yes, shout his out to sister. her sister. Shout yes. out to big sis. Shout out yeah. to big sis. Yeah, and shout out to my shout out to this youngin for not eating the motherfucking McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> that hey, I was so proud of that shit because I'm Definitely. like, I know. I know this wasn't the first 48 situation. Right, right. And that's when I said, hey, man, they was probably trying to starve him out, make him uncomfortable, yep. Yep. and then, then play the good cop. Hey, man, we got your quarter pounder with cheese. But, but what's so messed up, man? How many times has this worked? Yeah. We, hey. Like I said, when you we were talking earlier, I was like, dude, we're going to get into it because this mm-hmm. is the type of fuckery that they've been doing. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Get the cast 20, 30-something years. Hey, man, just... Just tell us what you did, and you get to go home. Right. You know, what did they tell him? We had you home in 10 minutes? Yeah, this happened the same thing with the Central Park 5. Central Park 5. Yep, I, I thought about that shit. I couldn't even watch that movie on Netflix. Dude, it's just, deep. Yeah, it's deep. Because those cats, that's, our, that's our era. Those cats are our age. Big that could have been us. Big bro, I listened to that uh, on Combat Jack podcast. Rest in peace. Um, when Combat Jack was alive, he had uh, Santana Raymond on there. And and that shit, man. I'm, I was almost in tears. I'm yeah. I'm I'm not I'm not saying that for effect, man. I wanted to fucking cry. Yeah. Because um, even you know the way they did the boys, period, to get them to the conf- to confess. But the but but even when they found a motherfucker, and you know the blood. Showed yeah. that it was this guy. Yeah, they still didn't want to let him out. They still said that they did it, even to this day. Mm-hmm. And somebody pointed out that's because a lot of careers were made off of that case. Yeah. Even when the movie came out, I think it was a district attorney. That woman, she was like, "Oh, still, they slant." Yeah, still, and still on that bullshit. Still on that fucking bullshit. You know, uh, uh, Orange Julius. Yeah, took out, took out a full page ad uh, ad in the paper. Yes. Yeah. They guilty, you know what I mean? He was feeding into that, and to this day, will not give these guys an apology, man. Even though they got, they got paid for it, but yet still, you can't get that time back. And what really like punched me in my heart was that one old boy went down to the station with his homeboy because you know back then, you know, his mom was like, "Don't you let him go down there by himself." Right. You know what I mean? Y'all, y'all not brothers, but y'all brothers, right? Don't you let him go down there by himself? You go with him, and he ended up catching the case. God damn. Yes. Dude, here, like I said, this shit is so fucked. That story was so fucked so up. So fucked up. Let, 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 check it out. I don't know if you got to see them when they went on. Around the time the movie came out, they had, I want to say, one or two. There was two or three of them on there on uh, Breakfast Club. Mm. And it was the one brother that they always talked about who said he had it worse than anybody. And when you see this dude, yeah, he yeah. is fucking traumatized. For he life. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't. He let me put it like he communicates the best he can, but it's limited. Very it's, limited. Yeah, and it's exactly, like because he lost. Man, these cats lost. They lost was, more than just you know. Yeah, in just time, you know what and, I mean. And he was the one that went to the grown-up adult jail right. as a child. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So ain't no in telling York, in New York. And, and and I'm not even going to sit up here and speculate because I don't want to do that. I got too much yeah. respect for that blood. But I read that about, I was, I, that like you, it came to my mind when I was reading about this. And I was just like, you, 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 you dirty fucking motherfuckers, man. So instead of doing your job that the taxpayers fucking pay you to do and go find a person who really did that shit. Took the easy way out. You said, well, we could see that much of them in the mask. We just need somebody with the same skin tone. Any one of them would do. Yep. You let him go fuck some more people off so we can keep just, uh, yeah, you, you, you fit the motherfucking profile. Today. Come on, blood. 
Come on, man. It's crazy as this is, 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 you know, it's a crime to lie to them. <laughs> Come on, man. That's, you know, and these yeah. guys are still working. They're yeah. doing, they're allowed to do this shit every fucking day when in reality, they need to overturn every fucking case that they've, you know, brought to the, the courts. There you yeah. go. You know, but it's not going to happen. Listen, because oh, you know, uh -uh. they know, not, America. Not, this is the American not, way. We need to fill those prisons and we need to fill them with black people. Mm -hmm. Right. It's like we're just going to pick this random poor black kid. We don't think he, you know, his education is too is too high. And uh, we're just going to roll the dice and hopefully he doesn't have a, 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 a family that cares about him. You know what I mean? And and wonder about his whereabouts. Sister was like, man, he ain't been home. Hold up. They doing what now? They holding him. OK, I got I got photos. I got whatever you need to prove his alibi. Now, let right. him go. His his sister, not the mama, not the daddy, not the grandparents, his sister stepped up and was like, look, I got proof. He was at a basketball game. He couldn't right. have done what y'all said he did or whatever. And I was just like, you, oh my, this is this this is crazy. And 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 they and they warring down. And it's like, who the fuck do you turn to when that's what you up against? And it, it, and it's like you just hear these stories, man. And and the Central Park Five, the Larry Davis story. If y'all know who Larry Davis is, mm -hmm. whew, yep, another one. And he but, outsmarted him, but they got him in the end. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's just man. It's how, how do you prepare a kid for this? They just snatch you up. How do you prepare your kid for this? They, they, and that's the thing. They, they always say, you know, you got to talk to your kids. What the fuck do you say, man? Seriously, how do you what tell the fuck them? Do you don't, say? don't speak, don't eat their food, don't you know, don't do nothing. Right. Just ask, ask for me. Ask for an adult. Right. Ask for an attorney. Whatever you. Come on now. Let me tell you something. You know what you got to, Cuddy. You on quarter mass. You gonna understand what I'm saying, Cuddy? You know what the fuck we got to do with black kids to help them survive. We literally got to start sending them to fucking Sears school. Black children, we literally need to start sending our children to survival, escape, resistance, and evasion school. If you get caught by the enemy, no matter what the fuck they do to you, you say your name and I want my mama or my daddy and lawyer. You no know, survival, escape, resistance. You say your name last. You say your name rank last four. I think if you get caught behind enemy lines, if you a black boy, fuck that Mickey D's because just like in, in Sears school, they try to give you a little food. They get you to give information. It's supposed to simulate what happens if you get caught behind enemy lines. All special forces go through it. Pilots go through it. They need to send black kids to that shit. If you get caught by the police. Be respectful. Be compliant. When they start asking you questions and there ain't no other adult there but them, my name is such and such. I want my mom, my dad, and a lawyer. But this, that, and the 15th, I want my mom, my dad, and a lawyer. <laughs> We're going to give you some McDonald's. Mom, dad, lawyer. Yeah. We're going to waterboard you. Mom, dad, lawyer. That's it. You don't even say your name. Mom, dad, lawyer. That's all you need to say. If it's big sis, say that shit. I hope they sue the shit out of them. Absolutely. Considering that, hell, they didn't. Act, apparently, they didn't have to hire uh, an attorney. They had big sis. But this, but but again, let's let's go back to the last story. This Chicago too. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so what's going to happen when we get the board members looking? Nah, we don't want to set a precedent. Right, because you Come know, on, this man, happen again. Yeah, good old Chicago man. What was that uh Blagojevich trying to sell uh, Barack Obama seat? Gangster mm -hmm. shit. Come mm -hmm. on, man. This is Chi Town, and mm -hmm. it was normal. That's normal practice, dude. Yeah. It's like, but it's gonna be sweet. There's some real gangsters <laughs> there. And you know what? There's a cat from there. He speaks on that shit, man. He said it wasn't what everybody, you know, sidebar. He said that that whole shit wasn't what everybody thought it was. Kind of like. Our, situ our situation with trafficking, how it wasn't what everybody, when you start looking at what that shit was about, 
And then you listen to one of his last interviews before he passed away. It's kind of some shit going on with that. Hey, man, it's politics. Was, there you go. Yeah. It's politics, man. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. 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 Share your right. dirt. Hey, yeah. there's yeah. Um, one thing I wanted to bring up. Now, uh, this shooting happened in a Dollar General. Uh, and what happened in uh, this man here on the bottom right um, saw this other kid shoplifting. So he intervened. Yep. Don't get shot at the goddamn dollar don't, store. Don't, yeah. Defending their products. Dude, that ain't like worth no more than a dollar. dollar. At a dollar. Yeah. It ain't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. There's the Gucci store. Yeah, you the, you and then the cashier. The dollar. You the cashier, not the security guard, man. Yeah. Right. Uh, ain't you, shit in there worth your life. You got shot over some uh, three year expired toothpaste, nigga. Dude, oh, let it go. Every, and if you you feeling real, you know, real uh, froggy, you go ahead and take a picture of the kid or something. But don't you dare try to lay hands on somebody. Like you said, stealing from the dollar store. Nigga, if you ain't security, you duck your ass down yeah. under that register. Even that security is like, shit, man, I'm I'm selling this shit on the oh, side anyway. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to go to the nearest phone. Come on, man. Yeah, hey. you don't. Come on, there's certain things you do and you don't do. You yeah, know, cats who got these, you know, the so-called moral compass, feeling that they could jump in at any time when they want to, then this kind of shit could happen. You could get served. Anywhere. And that's what, yeah. And they tell you to, they actually tell you not to do Don't that do. shit because yeah, you because make it worse. This. Yes, because you know what I'm saying. It. Like Cause cause now he can sue, he can sue the store and whoever get convicted for this. This motherfucker thought he was he was watching them Dale Brown videos and shit. Hey, let me flip it Detroit on you. Urban survival. What's up? We give you intelligent options to help you increase your survivability. He thought he was that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and look what happened. He did. See? Well, I yeah. think we'll interview him. I was watching the dust video and well. <laughs> My whole, hit me with a with a yard with a with a lawn dart. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> my damn face. What Go if old boy was intervening? Because he didn't want to send this black kid into that system we're talking about in Chicago. What if he was trying to do the right thing for the right reason? Do you believe it? What, what the I, hell? No, I, I, I don't thank, you. I, thank you. Thank you for playing the bullshit that, devil's yeah. advocate. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. What the hell. He's like, no, he I just all I just needed to ask that question. <laughs> Put down the gummy bears, motherfucker. Right. <laughs> right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man, I any motherfucker look like a little baby. I ain't trying to stop him. Just go ahead, man. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. You got it, killer. You got, you got it, got it killer. You got it, man. If you, right. you go to the dollar store and you uh five finger discount, man, I, you down on your shit. Go for it, man. Right. Go I don't for even it, think bro. you have to wear a mask for that shit. Nah. Just look, <clears throat> I'm like, I'm gonna go back to the you know to the back and blow up some balloons. Right. Be like five hundred dollars worth of shit before. The police even want to take a a, a report, right? That, you yeah, know, we, we got to go back where to the dollars again? Yeah, right. Nah, yeah. Shit man. in there, but junk. <laughs> <laughs> you try to carry out five hundred dollars worth of shit out of a dollar store. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's luck. The, it's not Good even luck. worth the police response. What's the What's the best uh dollar store y'all been to? I don't know why the fuck I'm asking this shit. Hey man, they, I'm they, look, they got I'm a firm here. believer. If you live around the dollar store, you're in a bad neighborhood. That's Tank's model. He, that, he, won't, he won't even look at a house that has you, that around the corner within two, three mile radius. If I'm going to say you, this. You hit a dollar store, then yeah. You're mm -hmm. like, that's not a good neighborhood. I'm going to say this. Go ahead. That's a half and half thing. And I guess y'all would be taking a shot. <laughs> it's a half and half thing. Got you. Because Lincoln O's, I think they had one of the first ones. That shit was what, General Dollar when I was a kid? Yeah. What yeah. bad over there? They thought it was bad. They tried to act bad. But it wasn't bad like like that over there. Like say, general it, was, dollar. It, it was general dollar, but shit cost more than just a dollar in that motherfucker, too. <laughs> Point taken. It did. See it actually, yeah, the, it did. He's it did. the 99 cent store. Yeah. 99 yeah. cent. You know, what yeah. I mean? but I right. they, they actually have like a, a produce and yeah. shit in our 99 cent store. Well, I don't know how all of them are, but some you find some sections that have actual. You can get some squash, and zucchini, all kind of shit. Okay. Plant. All right. I was wrong. So, my bad. Yeah. That's why I was just like, shit, the ones out here, I've never seen back home. 
You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But out here, I would say it's a whole new ball game. You see yeah. everything in the parking lot. You can see a Jaguar. You can see, you know, an Escalade, all kind of shit at the dollar store. It ain't just, you know, in the hood. Do you it, ever, it's right across from fucking Sam's Club. I think about it. Shit. Do you guys ever go places being from where we from and you be like, damn, this shit nice. And people be like, you realize we in a fucked up area? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. <laughs> like, we've never had it because we've well, never had it. Yeah. I'm like, we must have had it fucked up, man. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. I applied for a gig down there uh, near Fort Bragg and the motherfuckers in Fayetteville, right? The motherfuckers mm-hmm. like, hey, Fed leave out of here. Yeah, don't go down this street. Don't go down this way, you know, this and that. Like, this look like home. <laughs> right. right. It ain't that bad. Right. Yeah. Fucking Vietnam. They said that about Flint, Michigan. They was like, man, I went there. I said, nigga, this the yo, did I? <laughs> this nigga fucking stop somewhere? Yeah. yeah. Right on in. That look like my auntie house. You know yep. what I mean? Yeah. Yep. I mean, hey man, you hit that right on the head. It's a lot of stuff. And then I don't even want to say nothing. Like, oh, this is nice. Like, dude, do you know the area code here? No, no, right. no, 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 no. I was like, shit. You know what I mean? Like, our definition of the hood is completely different for some people. Yeah, yeah. You know it look I mean? like Marcy. Yeah, you know some, and others. Yeah. Like, you know these these kind of houses or whatever. Like, uh, like our townhouses are different from other folks' townhouses. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's like, out here, they're like, man, that's kind of like the project. Like, motherfucker, that's a townhouse. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, right. Man, that's Section 8. Dr. Like, Huxbow live in one of them. Right. right. Let me say this. That's a walk-up. <laughs> yeah, brownstone, man. Uh, the one place I was at and knew I was in the middle of the motherfucking hood was Nolens. Well, that's different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was at a gas station. I ain't see nothing but dreads and gold teeth and green hair, uh, 39 inch green hair. And I said, Oh shit. And Houston. Speaking, speaking of New Orleans, happy Fat Tuesday to you folks. Oh, yeah. Happy Fat Tuesday. Yeah, man. You know, so, but you know, um, yeah, man, I'm glad, uh, I don't know, man. You know, the one thing I did want to say when I saw this, uh, I know the mom may not have the resources, uh, but if she has some family outside of there, uh, outside of uh, Illinois, it's Illinois, Chicago, whatever, uh, I would hope that she would consider sending him away because... I don't want them fucking with this young man. They're coming back for seconds. And it can happen. You it know what I'm saying? Happen. The it, vendettas it, it, the police officers have? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah think about he's, he's, he's 15. He hasn't hit his real true growth spurt. Right. He said they already consider him a damn near fucking man. Right. You know what I mean? So he hit his growth spurt. And like you said, like, oh, and then they see that name. Oh, we've been looking for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's you know like I mean? so easily. I hear what you're saying. And it's yeah, because you know I read this book called uh, it was the whole ADHD bullshit. It's called Get Them Before They Grow: America's Conspiracy to Miseducate Black Boys. It's called Get Them Before They Grow. And you know they try to get a lot of these young boys. You see it happening in their prime. You know they either kill them or these motherfuckers is locked up. By the time they get out, you know motherfuckers ain't thinking about fucking. They trying to figure out how to live in a, in a more technically advanced world. But I'm just saying, I hope his mom considers getting him somewhere out of Dodge where he ain't got to look over his shoulder. Because the one thing these motherfuckers don't like is to be proven wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or embarrassed Definitely. publicly. Right. And that again, whole, again, narcissist. This, yeah. this, this is only directed to the ones that's on the bullshit. Because, uh, you know, this ain't this ain't all of man, you know. No, we, we do we do case by case. Right. You, know, we you got a lot of fine right officers here. out there, man. Yeah, we talk about this right here. Yeah, the yeah. handle business. So yes, sir. Shout out to you, young man. Salute for being smart and having shout, shout out, out to, to your sister. sister. <laughs> Salute. You gotta give her her flowers for looking out for baby bro. 
Definitely. That's what we need. Definitely. You know, sometimes sometimes a, a good sharp big sister is <laughs> it, it, hey man. It's better you, than uh, Benjamin Crump. There you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, man. They get you through better than a big brother will sometimes, man. So yeah. That shit blew my mind, man. I was like, his sister was like, get get my brother out of there. Right. Quit playing. Stop right. playing. Stop trying to pad your pockets. I'm just letting me do the case. See? I'm gonna file a uh, paperwork. Oh my god. Man, just give him this goddamn uh selfie with, with him in the back, nigga. It's time stamp. Get my brother the fuck out of there. You, you mush mouth motherfucker. <laughs> Cosby kid mouth motherfucker. <laughs> you Cosby kid mouth motherfucker. <laughs> Oba Kaba. See, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> what well, a real all oh, please stand up. <laughs> take your shots, motherfucker. Take your yeah, shot. Take a shot. Take a shot. <laughs> I was on one. You're oh, fucking man. right. I'm you back. Not gonna I'm make back. it into work on Wednesday, fucking it's with this. Right. Dude. Shout out to Drizzy. What's up? Yeah, yeah man. man. Shout out to 247. What's cracking? Oh. Yeah. Let's see. Where am I? 